The anterior pituitary and other regions of the body can express a gene known as POMC, pro opio melanocortin. This gene product can then be cut into pieces, producing the hormone gamma MSH, ACTH, and beta lipotropin. ACTH can then produce the hormones alpha MSH and CLIP, while beta lipotropin can produce beta endorphin and gamma lipotropin. Uh, beta MSH can then be produced from gamma lipotropin. So this one precursor molecule can be cut into a number of major hormones. Not all tissues which produce the starter molecule need produce all of these hormones. And so this shows some of the complex regulation of hormones which exists in the body. These hormones can be used in multiple important pathways. For example, MSH is best known as the melanocyte stimulating hormone, where it stimulates melanocytes to make the uh, brown to black pigment of skin and hair. But separate pathways also use this same hormone involved in feeding responses. ACTH is best known as the hormone uh, which stimulates the adrenal glands and as such acts on uh, the stress responses, but stress also uh, involves feeding uh, both our appetite, our preference for glucose-rich foods, and also glucose levels in the blood, and ACTH can directly affect feeding pathways in the brain as well. Lipotropins also affect uh, energy balance by uh, causing the breakdown of lipids. Um, uh, CLIP can act on, uh, can affect insulin action, and endorphins can be involved in the reward pathways for eating. So many of these hormones are involved in feeding and our energy balance.